Welcome to part 10 of Ask a 4-5. And yes, I am at the Essential Tennis Court right now because I'm getting my mixed team ready for sectionals, which happens to be on April 23rd, which is the best day ever because that's actually my birthday. So I will be answering some of the questions from my YouTube comments, my Instagram direct messages, and also my Discord Q&A with Mark text channel. I will leave a link down to my Discord down in the description below if you guys want me to answer any of the questions you have on the tip of your tongue. Without further ado, let's get started. Nine Own from Discord is asking, can you recommend me a tripod so I can record my swing? In all honesty, I really don't have any brand specific things for tripods or actually any type of equipment except Sony cameras are fantastic. So just go on Amazon and find a tripod that is good enough height and also will attach to a camera or a smartphone depending on what device you want to use to record your technique at. Thanks for the question. Fabrice Santoro is asking, what are my top three favorite movies? Oh, this is a good one. I would say The Dark Knight, Inception, and Memento are my three favorite movies I have ever seen. And yes, for those of you that know film, and for those of you that know film, I'm a huge Christopher Nolan fan. So if you guys haven't checked out Inception, Memento, or actually the Dark Knight trilogy, go watch them right now. They're fantastic. New players asking, what is the stupidest tennis related incident? Oh, well, okay. New players asking, what is the stupidest tennis related incident I've ever had? Um, I'll go over two of them. The first one was, I believe I was a sophomore or junior in high school and I was demoing a racket for my local club and I was practicing serves and my wrist and my grip on the racket was way too loose and on the follow through I ended up breaking the racket on my very first serve. So it's, uh, yeah, luckily they knew I didn't do it maliciously so uh, they didn't charge me. A more recent tennis incident was actually an injury where I was warming up with a friend on, I, I believe it actually was a Sunday night, not just because of the memes. And I split step and I really ruled my ankle super badly to the point where I actually had to stop playing. And it ended up being a grade two sprain. So I was off of tennis for about two, two and a half weeks. And believe it or not, that it actually wasn't a tennis ball related to that role at all. I just split step and I landed my left ankle the absolute wrong way and I was out for uh, I was out for quite a long time in my opinion from tennis so make sure you guys are split stepping properly thanks muscle man is asking do I use discord light mode uh, I was until someone called me out on it like three months ago and now I use dark mode just like a normal human being thanks Peter Chang is asking about the injuries I've suffered or from other people I know around my community and how to deal with it and the cost. So the most common injury for tennis related stuff is probably tennis and or golf elbow. So for that, you could do a few things. You could either lower the tension of the strings, change the strings to something softer, change the racket that you're using to something softer, or just take about two weeks to a month off of tennis. And keep in mind, I am not a medical professional, so if you guys have any actual medical issues, please go see your doctor. I don't wanna be liable for you guys doing stupid stuff. A more serious injury, in my opinion, is actually one of my friends, Kyle, who I've featured on this channel in a match play, he actually tore his either bicep or tricep in a doubles match. So he actually had to sit out for about a month and you know, have his muscle completely recover, which is kind of a scary incident. And then, you know, rolled ankles, like I previously said in a um, uh, previous question, are pretty common, especially if you guys don't clean up the balls around the baseline when you guys are playing. So just make sure you guys are practicing good habits and again, seek a professional medical person if you guys have anything super urgent. Thanks. Edward Grunder is asking, what is my opinion of the best shoe for the money? So for me, the way I think about this, given that I do play a lot of tennis and I have pretty aggressive footwork for both singles and doubles, I, would, I will almost never buy a shoe unless it has a six month durability guarantee, unless I'm play testing it, like the Vapor NXT that I did review. I'll leave a link to that 
in this corner if you guys want to check it out. And the Lacoste shoe that I recently bought, super expensive. Um, but I'm excited to play test that as well. You should never ever buy a shoe unless it has a six month durability guarantee. If you guys are playing often and frequently and with high intensity on the footwork. So my two favorite shoes right now, and they happen to be very good value for the money as well, are the Nike, I'll actually take off my shoe. The Nike Vapor Cage 4, which is a current Nike Premier tennis shoe right now. You can buy it in any online retailer. And this is pretty durable, not the most durable, but definitely has a six month durability guarantee. I also like the feel and the ride of this thing. And again, I will do a full in-depth review of this shoe in the near future. The other shoe that are fantastic value is the Gel Resolution 8s. And one thing to note with the Gel Resolution 8 that it is a little bit wide for people with slightly narrow feet like myself on the forefoot, but it actually has lasted on the court for me for almost 100 hours, which is almost unheard of. The next most durable shoe other than the Gel Resolution 8 I would say is the old school uh, barricades. And those things were tanks. So if you guys are looking at value tennis shoes, get a six month durability guarantee shoe. And if you guys are like me, I would try the Nike Vapor Cage 4s and the Gel Resolution 8s. Thanks. So that's it for this week, guys. Um, so please let me know if you guys have any questions you want me to get answered. Leave a comment down in the section below or join my Discord server. And if you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe. And hell, might as well hit that notification bell to be notified when more oh, original tennis content gets uploaded from my channel. And as always, happy hitting. I know I